Okay, so I'm about to do a long, long, long awaited makeup tutorial. Um, the one I have on my blog is super outdated, but I really don't change much. And you guys know that I do the exact same thing every day, no matter what I'm doing. Going to the club, which never happens. Going to the grocery store, always happens. <laughs> no matter what I'm doing, I'm wearing the same thing. So, um, you guys know that I, like the main reason why I'm doing, <coughs> sorry, the main reason why I'm doing a new tutorial is because I changed my foundation, um, I want to say it was like a month ago, almost over a month ago, um, to the Double Wear, um, the Estee Lauder Double, Double Wear Foundation, um, Y'all know I'm like a drugstore makeup girl through and through, um, no matter what. But so many girls were talking about this foundation and I just like wasn't happy with the way that mine was looking and it was on sale. So I was like, I'm going to give it a go and give it a shot. So I did. Um, clearly I love it. It is my all time fave. So I'm going to walk you guys through what I use. Um, and then like at the end, I will snap some photos and like show like what mirror I use and all of that jazz. But for starters, the primer that I use, also don't pay attention, I just have one set of nails done. So I forgot to do the other half. <laughs> but anyways, um, the primer that I use is the Urban Decay Complexion Primer. And I just do a little bit. I have extremely, extremely oily, acne prone skin. So keep that in mind. Okay, and as for the Estee Lauder foundation, um, it was so pricey and I probably should have went to get matched, like color matched, but I didn't. It was on sale um, and it was like the last night and I was ordering it at like midnight, so I didn't have a choice. But I know a lot of bloggers that um, spray tan like I do and I don't tan my face um, that get the shade cashew. And so I snagged that and I was like, that will be, I'm just going to give it a go. Um, it is a teeny bit dark if I just do it totally by itself. Um, this would be perfect for like dead of summer, um, like spray tanning. My skin's a little bit tanner, all of that. So I went ahead and ordered another one, um, based off of, a few other girls that I follow that don't spray tan that are a little bit like um, fair skinned like I am and they get the um, shade Fresco. So um, now since it's like kind of fall and I don't do my tan as dark, um, I kind of just like blend these. I probably could go and get color match for a shade that is a happy medium in between these, but I need to use these anyways. So I just, um, Kind of blend them together so i put my primer on um and then i just use my sigma flat kabuski brush is what it's called i think um and i just put on um, the cashew color or not cashew the fresco color on the palm of my hand first and I just do a little bit. It goes a really, really long way. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes a really long way. And then I just do a couple drops of the cashew one, the darker colored one, um, right on the top. That's probably too much, actually. Oh, well. Um... And then I just get my kabuski brush. <laughs> I literally have no idea if that's how you pronounce it, but we're going to go with it. Um, and I just kind of dab it all in the palm of my hand. And then dog hair. Life of a dog mom. Um, and then I just kind of rub it all over. And as you can see, like my face is quite a bit darker than like my forehead or my bottom half of my face is a quite a bit darker than like my upper half, like my forehead area right now. Um, but like I said, I mean, all of this matches 
um, my body because I tan. So, and it does dry pretty quick. So, I just kind of smooth it all in fairly quickly. I'm the world's worst tutorial giver, so I apologize. I just like make sure it's all smoothed out. I don't have my glasses on and I'm sitting kind of far away from the mirror so that you guys can see the full image. And I don't wear contacts because I'm scared to death to touch my eyes so I can like barely see what's going on up there. Um, but that is what I just like cover my whole face in that. And then that's enough with the kombucha brush. Um, and then I get another Sigma brush and it's the Extreme Contour Brush. And I just get the Maybelline Master Concealer and I do the shade Fair. And sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't. It just like kind of depends really on like what I'm doing and I mean, not really what I'm doing, just how much I feel. Okay, why is this not coming out? How much I feel like doing that day um, that's a lot like I said I cannot see what's going on back here I'm gonna have to scoot up a little bit and you do not need a lot of this stuff it is really strong and I'll just kind of dab that in bring it up onto my eyelid a little bit down by my nose. I just kind of spread it out over the cross, over the top of my lip. Guys, you can see that kind of like brightens up um, my like under eye area and then brightens up down here. Like I said, 110% probably doing all this all wrong, but it works. I've been doing it forever. I never, ever, ever change up my makeup, so I'm sticking to it. Okay, now that that is all done, let's see. Oh, um, I do, I set it all. Um, some people don't do, I feel like a hair just like hanging somewhere. Um, some people don't do as much powder as I do, but like I said, I have really, really oily skin. Um, naturally, it just gets really oily throughout the day. That is one thing I did want to say about this. This works for all skin types. So like you could be um, like have dry skin or uh, medium skin or super oily or whatever, and it covers everything. Um, but just for me, just to have a little extra, like something to soak up the oil throughout the day, I do like quite a bit of powders. Um, I usually do either the e.l.f. or the L'Oreal Infallible um, Translucent Powder. Um, I'm almost out of this one, so that's why I'm doing this one. What is in my eyeball? This is gonna drive me crazy. Um, and I just like tap it over into the lid. Sometimes it'll put like a lot out. And I do use quite a bit just because like I said, my face gets so oily throughout the day. And I just tap it in, what is this? This is a Morph, Morphe. I'm not totally sure. I lost like almost all of my brushes a couple months ago and I just haven't restocked other than a few of them but I'll link the ones that I would recommend that once I do restock will be the ones that I'm getting. But I just pour um, this into the cap and I just kind of like 
dab this big brush in it and then get some and then dab it off and I get pretty gray with my translucent powder not gonna lie <laughs> I do quite a bit but I have noticed that the more that I do um the better that I mean it has like a photo finish like flawless look all throughout the day and it helps it not move and all of that and it's clear so I mean it doesn't really matter it's not like you're loading up on like powdered foundation you know what I mean like sometimes you know like back in middle school when you put like four pounds of like powdered foundation on and it looked like you could freaking have a sandstorm on your face if someone got close enough yeah this doesn't look like that it's like super 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 lightweight and clear and once you put it on it just kind of like soaks into your liquid foundation and just I don't know sets it science I don't know <laughs> um I can barely see So, like I said, I mean, I just do quite a bit of this all in areas that get, like, beside my nose and my forehead. I play with my hair a ton, like, up here. Um, so, a lot of times, like, I'll have makeup that kind of goes missing from, like, right here just from me messing with my hair so much throughout the day. So, I try and do quite a bit of setting powder up there. That should be good. That's plenty. On to the next. <laughs> There's another powder coming. Like I said, you don't have to, um, some people do just like liquid foundation, I think. And some people just do like powder or I think it's just like whatever you like. Um, I just like this combo cause I feel like it looks really, really nice and it stays all day and I don't ever have to like dab my face like from it getting too like oily or I mean I wear it we'll go out to eat and like go to the movies or go out with like some of our friends for a little bit and I'll still have on the same makeup that I put on like Saturday morning I'll have it on till midnight Saturday night so I mean it lasts forever um but my next powder is this like bare minerals um matte powder and it's the shade golden fair and it matches this combo like perfectly um and I just kind of dab it all over and this is um I can never pronounce this name and I don't even think it's on I want to say that I've looked on the Target website quite a bit and I don't even think that they have these on the website and I don't know why because they're only sold at Target so I don't know why they wouldn't like utilize their website to sell them even more but they're like that Sonia it doesn't say the name damn it Sonia Kush or I don't know Sonia something it starts with a K but it's like their powder um brush and it's really 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 nice I want to say it was like $12 and it's probably one of the nicer brushes I've ever owned I mean it's a great quality and I just kind of like pat everything in so finally done with the powder I just wrap that up and then um, I get my, that one's new. I get my um, NYX matte bronzer. It's just like a drugstore one. Um, and then I get my Bare Minerals Soft Focus Face. I don't know. I'll find a link and link it in the blog post. <laughs> But I just like rub it around in the bronzer and then I just kind of do like 
I wouldn't say under the cheek. I kind of do it, I mean, not as blush, but like on my cheek area. And then I kind of do like my forehead and since my hair is blonde, if you're blonde, you know the struggle of getting bronzer all up in your hair, especially for me since I don't wash my hair for like <laughs> seven days at a time, it kind of builds up. So I have to like get that out with my uh, makeup remover every single night probably nasty to share but that's okay um and then I just get like a eyeshadow brush it's just I don't know like an old one I don't even know where it's from honestly and I just kind of dab it in my bronzer just like that just a little bit and rub it down my nose That's that, and then I get that um, brush that I did my translucent powder with, and I just kind of rub out the lines on my nose a little bit, and then my bronzer, um, like my cheekbones and all of that, and rub that out, and then oftentimes I'll go back with this same like brush that I did my bronzer with, and just kind of Touch it, back, touch it back up just because um, that powder brush usually just like um, brings the bronzer a little bit like over your face and all of that and carries it out. Sorry, I'm trying to look in the mirror behind my phone so that I can see a little bit better. Um, so that is that. That's like all I do for my face. And I mean, that took what, like five minutes? If I would have not talked, it probably would have taken me like two minutes to do. Um, super, super, super quick. It's like I always get so many questions of how do you get ready every single day? My makeup routine, if I'm not talking away into a phone, literally takes me, I think like eight minutes, like so quick. I do not, I don't do like eyeshadow, eyeliner, none of that jazz. I'm just like get in and get out. Um, so next, this, don't judge me. You guys know that I'm a drugstore makeup girl and I got so pressured when I went to like a couple months ago when I got that Estee Lauder foundation and I was telling you guys and then I got like a lip color too from MAC and then I had to go to Nordstrom to return something and I like just got drug in by the makeup section at Nordstrom and I've never been like in that section before because I'm always like at the CoverGirl section in Target. <laughs> and they just were so intimidating. And so there was so much and they just like kept throwing all these products in my face and all that. And so I got this blush, probably one of the stupidest, priciest purchases I've ever made, but whatever. I'm sure that there's a drugstore blush that looks the exact same. If this doesn't last me for like two years, I'm gonna be pretty salty it was pretty expensive but I do love it it's really pretty I've been using it for like the past two months I always get a lot of compliments on it um it's the NARS one and it's the shade orgasm I love it it's just like really subtle but like I said I'm gonna be super salty if this doesn't last me a long time because it won cheap but I just do like my cheekbones and then I carry it up. Sometimes I do the tip of my nose, sometimes not. But funny story, I don't know if I already said this, I don't think I did. Whenever I got this, I didn't tell Jake because he would kill me if he knew how much I spent on liquid foundation. And so I didn't say anything and I put it on when I was in the bathroom one morning and we had to go somewhere like right after and I got in the car and I sat down next to him in the car and he was just like staring at me and I was like, what are you looking at? And he was like, why is your face so smooth? And I like didn't want to tell him and I was like, I don't know, like nothing. And he just kept looking at me and I was like, 
what are you doing? And finally I told him and he was like, well, don't ever stop buying that because it looks so good. So there you have it. Boy approved. I could dye my hair black and he would not even recognize it. So that should say a lot. But anyways, um, so that was my blush. And then, um, <coughs> I just noticed yesterday and didn't have time to go get more, but I really have been waiting to do this tutorial for forever. So I typically do my brows with, um, this like NYX, um, brow pencil in the shade espresso. I've used it for forever, but, um, I'm currently out. So we're going to go old school and use eyeshadow. <laughs> Um, but like I said, I typically do this brow pencil. So just note that. And it's in my last video too. So you can go back and look at that. But, um, I don't ever use eyeshadow. So this palette's like completely stuck to the rim of eyeshadow. And I just start usually from... Um, like the center area and work my way down. I don't have my glasses on, like I keep saying, so there is no telling how this looks. If you were to zoom in, <laughs> I don't even want to know. Y'all probably can see it. I can't. It's okay. I'm just working from home all day, so no biggie if it looks jankity. Let me, I think I have like a teeny, teeny, teeny bit in here. I do the worst, most impromptu, terrible tutorials on planet Earth. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Emigil! <laughs> Sorry, I'm having to use the mirror that's sitting behind my phone. All right, that's good for now. I'll take a look later on when I can get closer <laughs> to the mirror. But um, like I said, I usually use the NYX brow pencil and I just like start from the corners and work my way down and then just kind of like fill them in. I like mine pretty dark. Um, yeah, that's about that. And then I get my, um, <coughs> what is this? I think it's L'Oreal. L'Oreal Lash Paradise um, Mascara. And you guys know that I use magnetic lashes. So I just do a little bit of mascara on the top. So I usually don't do this many coats. Um, I'm just trying to make it to where like you guys can see it from your end. So that's all I do for the top. 
And then I usually just let the top dry really quickly. And then my lip color, oh my worst, oh my word, I get so many questions about my lip color on the daily. I just got mascara all over the top of my eyelids. I'm telling you, I suck at these. <laughs> um, but lip color, um, so I used to use the NYX um, baby doll and then the NYX peekaboo liner. Um, it just would like come off really, really easy. So I switched. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk as well as the MAC Soar um, lip pencils. They both go with like every single color that I own. Um, lately, I've been doing the Charlotte Tilbury one. And big tip that I have is to fill in your lips a little bit with the liner because if like your lip color starts to come off throughout the day, um, lip liner stays a lot better than your lip color does. So whenever your lip color starts to fade, there will still be um, color from the liner below it. So I usually just... Fill those in a little bit. I love, love, love this color. It goes with everything. So this is the like famous color that I get so many questions on. Unfortunately, it is a um, like limited edition, so they're not gonna have it come back. But I did find a taller version that is like almost identical. It's the shade um, Really Me. Um, it's in my purse at the moment, so I can't show you, but I'm going to wear this one, and it's the Love You Back, and it's just like the smaller tube that's a limited edition. So that is my lip color. So every single time that you see me, um, I will either be in this Love You Back or um, probably not much longer since the tube is almost out and it's a mini and it's a limited edition. So probably only for like the next week. But um, the next one that I'll be in will be the MAC um, Really Me because it's like almost an identical dupe. Um, and it's just like a perfect pinky nude. And then if I'm in something that's more pinky, that's like darker, um, it will be this shade. Y'all have seen me wear it a few times. Um, and it's the shade Faux. And this one's really, really pretty too. Um, it's just like a, not a darker, it's a darker pink, but it's not like way too pink. Um, and then sometimes I'll wear the Max or lip liner, but either one, I mean, it just depends on like what I'm, feeling which one I pick up pretty much um and then I just go through and I do mascara on okay I cannot see diddly wowzers
So that's my bottom lashes. And then for everybody's favorite part, holy cannoli. I get so many questions on these bad boys. It's unreal. Magnetic lashes. So, um, I actually lost my, um, like two days ago, I lost my Ardell um, 110 doubles, which are the ones that I wear every single day. They're like the most natural looking ones. Um, and all I have in my drawer to use are the double wispies. So they're crazy dramatic. Just keep that in mind. The ones that I wear every single day are not like this. Um, but this is the set. They're actually clamped together right now. When I took them out of the box, I just clamp right here and I take one little magnet section off and I actually have a video of me doing that save to my highlights just to make them a little bit shorter so that they don't cover my whole lid. Um, it's super easy. Like I said, I have a video in my highlights, but it doesn't, I wear these for like four weeks at a time without changing them or anything. And they're like $13 for the pack. I wear them from 7 a.m. to like 10.30 at night. Never once had them fall off. They don't root, they don't mess up my lashes. Like literally not a single bad thing to say about them. So um, you just pull them apart. Like I have the top right here and I have the bottom right here and then I'm gonna see if I can just lay it up there and then I gotta do this in ah And then you just kind of, like I said, these are major, major, major dramatic. I do not normally wear lashes this intense. I mean, on a daily basis, I would never. I wear the 110 doubles. But like I said, all I had were these to show you guys because I lost my other pair. I don't know where they went. I took them off at night and I don't know, the dogs probably ate them or something. So this is what I'm working with. Um, I just lay it on the top lash line. They're never ever gonna be perfect. I always get so many people that are like, it's not completely pushed up against my lash line. It's, I mean, that's part of That's just part of wearing false lashes. They're not gonna be completely up against your lash line and if someone is that close to where they can tell they need a backup is what I say so that is that um these are crazy dramatic <laughs> oh my gosh I look like a freak looking in the mirror right now they look like fog lights but um the normal ones are super normal every day I wear those on a daily um and they just take practice like it took me probably a week and a half to get used to doing all of it and now it's just like and then they're done and to take them off you literally just pull your fingers down and pull directly off i've been wearing these for almost a year now probably 11 months and i've never once had an issue i've never had any thing come off i've never had any eyelashes pull out with them i never put mascara on them that's why they last so long like i said i keep the same set for like four weeks or so um so yeah, that's that. This is my like everyday makeup routine, no matter what. I'm either in the shade Love You Back, Really Me, or Faux. I wear the Double Wear Estee Lauder foundation. Um, and then just Ardell magnetic lashes. So I will link everything below and then um, take some photos of like the tools and products and all that stuff that I use and I hope that that helped and didn't suck. <laughs>